It's Hunter and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, it is so nice to meet you. In today's video, we are going to be talking about how much money I spent in a week. So from last Monday to yesterday, which was Sunday, I'm filming this currently on the day that it's going live on Monday. So I wanted to share for you guys, I kept track of my spending and I don't know if I spent less or more because I was more mindful of what I was spending. But one of my goals for the year of 2021 was to be more mindful of my spending and to overall spend less money. I also do not have a traditional job so my income is very inconsistent right now so I wanted to show you guys what an average week of spending looks like for me. It could change from week to week obviously because nothing is ever going to be exactly the same but I wanted to share it with you guys anyway. So it went from May 3rd to May the 9th so today's May 10th that I'm filming this. So I was gonna vlog the whole week and show you guys me spending money however I either didn't take my camera with me because I was in the mo I was trying to be in the moment or I just forgot. I don't know so I thought I'd down and walk you through the week of spending and I wrote everything down on my iPad so I'm ready to go. This is definitely going to be the shortest video I've made in a long time so I hope you guys still enjoy it. If you like money videos please let me know because I'd love to do more and before we get started if you haven't already please be sure to subscribe to my channel down below. It would be super helpful to just help my channel grow. I would also love it if you'd give this video a thumbs up because that tells YouTube that you like this video so it pushes it to more people and I would love it if you guys would follow me over on Instagram. Instagram. I'm really trying to grow over there and I need your help to do that. So now that I've got all my promo out of the way, let's pull out my handy dandy list. So let's start with Monday. Monday, May the 3rd, it was my mom's birthday and I went to my hometown to surprise her. So first things first, I had to get gas. I had about a quarter of a tank left and I knew it would get me to my parents' house just fine, but I was scared I was going to be driving back in the dark. So I got gas before I went. So I put about 10 gallons of gas in my car and it was $27.70 and I used my debit card card for that. And then I also had to get a card for my mom and then I got a card for my dad to give to her. And then I also bought like a small gift for her. It was literally like an ice cube tray that makes tiny ice cubes and that was like five something. And then I also got a bag to put it in. I already got her a big gift for Mother's Day and her birthday combined since they are so close together. So I did not include that in the spending because I bought it a few weeks ago, but I already got her a big gift. So I just wanted to give her a little bit of something whenever I surprise her for her birthday. So that trip to Target cost me $19 and and 85 cents and I used my Target red card which got me 5% off on the overall purchase as well. So my total for Monday was $47.55. So now we have it Tuesday, May the 4th. Um, I decided that I wanted to get a wireless mouse for my iPad because the iPad OS now supports, has mouse support and I know that it's been like this since I literally got the iPad. It's been over, I mean it's been like six months since I got the iPad and I just decided I wanted to try a mouse so I got a matching one to the keyboard that I have for it and it was $18.01 one cent from Amazon after tax and everything. And then that was on my Apple card. And then on my Apple card also came out the Apple Care for my iPad. And that is a monthly thing. It's $5.99 plus tax. So the total for that was $6.35. That is a monthly thing that comes out and it comes out on the fourth of every month. So I went ahead and added that on here. So my total for Tuesday was $24.36. And then on Wednesday the 5th, I did not spend any money. So my total for Wednesday was zero. And then on Thursday, the 6th I had to make a dentist payment or had to make a payment at my dentist. I probably should have done this a lot sooner but I forgot about it. So we were cleaning off a table in my kitchen. It had the bill on it. I saw it. I was like I need to pay this. So the total for that was $60.70 and that was the only thing I spent money on on Thursday. So my total for Thursday was $60.70. and Then on Friday, May the 7th, I went to grocery shopping. I went to two different stores. I went to Aldi and then I went to Walmart neighborhood market. I spent $44.94 at Aldi and I spent $46.71 at Walmart for a grand total of $91.65 for groceries and that will last us about two weeks. Also, I forgot to mention that I am married if you don't know if you're new here and I do have a combined bank account with my husband so I did not include any purchases that he made and I did not include any purchases that we made together. So for example, we went out to eat on Tuesday night with a friend of ours and Mason used his credit card for that so I did not include that in here because it wasn't me that was making the purchases if that makes sense. Um, and then we also went to dinner on Saturday and I did not include that either because he used his credit card for that as well. And then on Saturday May the 8th it just got so dark in here. How rude. 
Anyway, on a Saturday, May the 8th, I did not spend any money out of my own pocket. Like I said, my husband paid for dinner. Um, we went to celebrate Mother's Day with my mom and his mom, but that was all I spent. I didn't spend anything on Saturday. I didn't pull out my card at all, didn't use it, so. Next is on Sunday, which was Mother's Day and the last day of this week. My husband works at a church and my family stayed the night with us on Saturday night, so we went to church on Sunday morning. My dad and my brother had to get back home to go. They just had stuff to do yesterday, so they left right after church. So I took my mom to lunch at a local place and she said that since I was paying the bill, she would pay the tip, so she just left cash on the table, so that's why the price of lunch is pretty low, but it was $20.50, so that was just for our meals. Um, and then, like I said, she paid the tip, so. And then um, I also went to Target with my mom because she wanted to walk around and it was right next to the place we ate. So I got some soil for planting plants in my house. I needed to repot some plants. And then I also bought uh, something from skincare that I really was looking for a lot and it's been out of stock everywhere and I finally found it. So I went ahead and bought that. And then I also bought some Tums and some shipping labels. I always need Tums and I was out of shipping labels. So that total for Sunday was $58.41. So now we bring the weekly total to $282.67, which honestly, I don't think is bad at all. So for like this coming week, I'm not gonna buy gas because my car, my tank is full. And I know that that was a week ago, but I don't drive very much. I really just drive to the gym and back. I also bought groceries and I won't have to do that for another two weeks. So a big chunk of this so like half of it was groceries and then obviously I don't have to pay a dentist bill every single week in fact I don't even have to do that every month so my total here I'd say this is pretty average to have two days where I spent absolutely nothing I did not include like our mortgage we also don't have our utility bill in here because it doesn't come until like today so I got off on that one by just a day I just wanted to give you guys an idea of what I spend in a week that's kind of what we've got here so I like I said hope you enjoyed it um, if you did give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video bye